Welcome to another episode of Bird Gang Nation Sports Talk. I'm your host, Bird Gang 31. Today we're talking about the Eagles' number two CB spot besides Big Play Slate and what I think they need to do to fix the position. I'm going to give you a couple of veterans and I'm also going to give you a list of next year's top CBs coming out. First off, we're going to start out with your boy, Xavier Howard, who is very distraught over his contract this year and looking to get paid a little bit more money. Now, the Eagles do have cap space problems, but you see how he knows how to fix that. Howard, former first team All-Pro, has been selected to two Pro Bowls. He's had over 191 tackles and 22 interceptions. He's definitely capable of making big plays Definitely putting them alongside with the rest of the DBs we got in our room. The Eagles would definitely have one of the best secondaries in the league. Now, if we cannot get Howard, we need to go over to New England and pick up my boy, Stephon Gilmore. The four-time Pro Bowler, two-time first-team All-Pro, needs not, not to say too much about him because he is definitely a beast. Lockdown. He's a little bit older, but he has been one of the only cornerbacks recently that's been Defensive Player of the Year with 25 interceptions and over 400 tackles. So, either way you go, you win. Now, if we don't pick up or trade for a player this year, here's a list of a couple of college players that I think can really help out the squad next year in the draft. Derek Stingley Jr. from LSU, ball hawking, big time player, you know, six foot two, I think he is. You know, his freshman year, he came out on fire with six interceptions and 20 pass breakups. You know, I think he can really upgrade the position. And as long as he keeps up the good work, he would be the number one cornerback coming out in the draft next year. Now, if not, We need to go over to Florida and pick up my boy Elam. Elam is a great, tall, lanky cornerback that can lock down receivers as well and is one of the only players to lock down our boy Devontae Smith last year. If not Elam, let's go over to Clemson where they got Andrew Booth Jr. who had two picks, 36 tackles, five pass breakups with 2.5 2.5 tackles for loss. Booth do need to have a better season this year to help solidify his status in next year's draft, but I think the boy can do it. So, we'll see what happens. Another guy is Selvin Banks from Ohio State. If healthy, Banks can be in the premier cornerback coming into the draft next year. You know, he do have to fight for his position this year at Ohio State because they did pick up two top-flight cornerbacks that the coaches are really high on. So, Selvin, let's see what you can do. Can you beat the Young Bucks? You are a senior, so you know this is your last season. So, do what you got to do there. Then we can go to a lesser-known player that I think has a lot of talent. He's really tall, lanky, from Cincinnati, Ahmed Gardner. Now, Gardner is very explosive and have really good hips. You know, I can see him being a good mid-round pick for the Eagles. You know, we don't get one of the other top flight CBs in this uh, next year draft. So, last but not least, we got Josh Job from Alabama. Now, Job had a good season last year with 55 tackles, 2.5 for losses, two sacks, 11 pass breakups with two forced fumbles, and was selected to second team All-American. Now, either one of these guys, as long as they all have a good season this year, can be perfect candidates for our number two CB spot next year. But I think we need to lock it down now develop them later and go ahead and do them. Play it now. Good draft pick later. CB two, three, spot lockdown for the next couple of years. 
So tell me what you think in the comments. Should we get Howard or should we get Gilmore? Or should we just wait for the draft and let these young bucks, you know, fight it out during camp? As always, thanks for watching my show. Please like, subscribe, hit that post notification bell, and share my videos so Burger Nation can grow to new heights. Much love to all y'all. Fly Eagles Fly and Burger Nation out. Till next time.